Yeah, well. Hey kid, you're looking, you got potential. I think you could uh, help shape the future of the Splatlands. I'm Mr. Grizz. Yes, Grizzco is my company. That's my name on the door, and everything else. <laughs> but I'm here to show you how Grizzco is different. See, from the top level, that's me. To fresh and young talent like you, we're committed to making the world a better place. So allow me to officially welcome you to the crew. It's good. Honest work, with an honest paycheck. I just know you'll fit right in. Now that you're on board, let me make sure that your training is up to date. Can we get started now? I'm ready. That's what I like to see. You're a go-getter, just like a young me. Now then, I'll check on your records. Hold the phone. You're a returning employee. Welcome back. I... I know how hard it is to stay away. Well, I think you'll find your way around just fine. But if you're interested in a refresher, it's not a bad idea to look over the basics again. No thanks. I appreciate the confidence. I'm not sure HR would approve uh, deviating from mandatory training, but let's not tell them. Just this once. Oh yeah, this may be old news to some, uh, someone with your experience or around the water cooler. As some new boss Samidids were spotted in the Splatlands. We usually require all employees to take a training course to see uh, on how to defeat boss Samidids. But really, it's all in the manual. Read that over and... Oh! It sounds like uh, the next helicopter is about to head out. Why don't you head down to the site for a little sink or swim time? We haul you, or whatever's left of you, back in time... Uh, back any time you like. What do you say? Ready for some on-the-job training? Uh, I believe I say yes to this. I like that can-do attitude. Now get to the helicopter. Oh, this is a training, though. I didn't think this would be training. Not the basics. Lots of different kind of boss salmon out there. Eleven kinds of being said. You can learn boss salmon in if you want. Just tell me which one you like to practice on. Oh, that's fucking awesome that you can do this. Well, obviously, uh, we need to do the, um... <laughs> The big shot. This crafty uh, cannoneer sets up a big shot launcher on the shore to fire cannonballs brought in from the sea. Just jump over the shock waves from the cannonballs. If you're on a gold, uh, golden egg and you're near a big shot launcher, try pressing A. That'll launch the egg toward the egg basket. I like the new ink colors for, uh, for this. Separately, it was just like orange and green, and then like pink and green. So it requires the amount of stuff it would take to use a sub weapon to throw eggs, but you can just do that. Uh, and then we got the slamming lid. These ones ride a flying machine that makes force fields. Walk under it, and it'll try and squash you. But if it tries to squash you, and you dodge, you can climb on top of it and take out the pilot. What if I just throw a bomb on top of it? Well, that was easy. Well, all these are the uh, same ones, but I'll do, uh... <laughs> the stinger for nostalgia's sake. The spineless sniper sits on top of the tower, taking 30 pot shots at you from the shoreline. I attack the stack of 30 cooking pots and cut this baddie down to size. All the pots are done, the stinger will be too. Let's get hit by our very first Stingray.
Ah, old friend. Just like I remember you. Oh, yeah, there is actually another one. I forgot about the fish stick. So we should take a look at those. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the fish stick and the, the flipper flopper, I forgot, are also new. These screwy salmon ants find a pillar in the ground, then fly in circles around the top and spray ink all over. Climb up the top and splat them all. The pillar will stick, stick around once they're gone. So put it to good use. Throws out an ink ring, dives into it. Do not get caught inside the ring, or, well, you'll see. Cover the ring with your own ink uh, before it can dive. That'll leave it uh, flopping out in the open. Splat it! I mean, it's splat zones. So, uh, people who don't understand how to play ranked battles won't be able to do it. That being said, that landed in a very inopportune spot. itself. Alrighty. Nice work. That wraps up the training. Are you able to access the training anytime you want in this game? Because in Splatoon 2, once you do the training, you just can't do it again. Congrats, kid, and welcome to the Grisco family. Trust me when I say this job is a dream come true, as long as your dream is risking life and climbing limb to collect golden eggs for your boss. We won't be doing it alone. From here on out, you'll be teaming up with co-workers, which means more lives and a lot more limbs to risk. One last thing, when you're out there, remember that every wave is going to be different, just like the sea. And there's no training for the sea. This is always changing. Every single wave brings something new. And you'll have to change with it. We all will. And if we want to succeed, that's the most important thing of all. Mm, sorry, my mind's starting to wander off a bit there. But my point still stands. Next time you're out there, it'll be the real deal. And you will not. Uh, you never know what the sea will throw at you. Good luck. Uh, whenever you want to take a shift, just let me know. There's always plenty of work to go around. Oh. What do you mean? It's been 40 minutes of the rotation. How has it changed? Okay. It's cool that Saber Run actually has, like, a place you can walk around now. Instead of just having it be a menu. I like this. Oh, there's a frickin' Crisco training mode? That's cool. Make a lobby? Will do. Wait, I can just pick whatever weapon I want? Or is this just for the training? I think it's just for the training. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, so if I go here for Salmon Run, current rotation. So there's still rotations for Salmon Run, but it's open at all times. So the current rotation uh, is Junior, Dooley's, Roller, and Charger. And the next one is going to be Splatana, Splatter Shot, Blaster, Stringer, etc. So, that's great. You have to jump around on screen and say hi, streamer. Sockeye Station. Do it. Sweat roller. First salmon run shift of the new game. And it's high tide. Experience high tide. It's high tide and foggy. Great first round. 
So it's interesting that it's still the same uh, W3 tracks. Because I think the, uh, the name of the band. So we still get some familiar Splatoon 2 music. No small fry, no! Oh god, Tenta missiles. Oh, a Goldie, nice. Oh my god, Goldie's perfect for this. Really? Game? Also, I have uh, two killer whales. I need to remember that. I'm gonna bust that cock. Just accidentally squid roll. Which it's not a squid roll. They really need to drop the, the naming of squid something when they introduce playable octolings. There's like Ninja Squid still exists and you can play as an Octoling. And these are called Squid Roll and Squid Surge and I'm an Octoling. I think all specials are usable. That's dope. Instead of having it just be four. It's just that for this one, I just, you know, you get two specials and this one is just whale. Oh, fun! Fog and then Grillers for my first ever Grisco shift in this game. What a f Great. God, the egg throwing is so nice. So close, come on. Alright, fuck. I mean, now there's four brand new boss salmonids, and waves are gonna get very chaotic in, uh, in higher ranks. And this game was already chaotic in higher ranks. So, uh, thirty four is not awful, so. Definitely come in clutch. Finally, a regular wave, maybe? Mothership. Just give me all the fucking problems. Uh, we don't have Stingray for the Mothership in this game, so... This is new Salmon Room music, though. I hope you can whale this. Can in fact whale the mothership. And that's right, the uh Sabinids that come and take the golden eggs in this game come by air.
Excuse me, this golden egg is clipping into the wall? Ooh, reef slider. Yeah, the uh, the whale tracks whatever it's looking on, so it's good to know that the 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 whale will uh will uh, do the stuff to the mothership. Yeah, that makes sense. T tactical or here would be kind of weird. First clear of the day, extra bonus points. Oh, that's right. Uh, what does the tacticaler do? Uh, it gives your teammates uh, swim speed buff, run speed buff, ink efficiency buffs, ink resistance buffs, uh, squid roll and squid surge buffs, uh, like three mains of quick super jump and three mains of quick respawn. So like everything in the game. Sad day for Bob down here. Oh, I have Booyah Bomb right now. Hell yeah, Splat Roll with Booyah Bomb? Being able to use Booyah Bomb here is gonna be great. You know, something that makes me slightly angry, but it's like it shouldn't make me angry, but it does. Is that when uh, I was watching people's reactions to the, uh, the like the re like the reveal in the direct of like the other stuff with like the like the big waves, the big runs that take place inside Inkopolis and the Splatlands? People were calling those like splat fests, but for Salmon Run. And I'm like, no. Once every three months in Splatoon 2, there was a special rotation of a. Uh, of, uh, like, Brusco weapons and stuff that you could use. And the, the, the entire selection of weapons was all random Brusco weapons, and that only happened once every three months. And they said, in the direct, once every few months, the big run's going to happen. So it's like, it's just that, but people are calling them Splatfests, and I'm like, do you people not play the game? a lot of this area during high tide. Not a lot of boss salmon had spawned at lower waves. Uh, I'm gonna try and get a Gamma in here if she can come join. Oh, nice low tide. Because uh, Gamma is playing right now. She's playing a uh, single player. <laughs> Just like on the side.
missiles. Oh, nice, a fish stick. An actual thing to squid surge up. Really, the things are still up there? Come on. He wasn't throwing them in. There is one level out of the two areas of the single player that I've played where Callie and Marie are like, squid surge up this wall, and it's like a 50-foot wall. And I'm like, yo, an actual use for the squid surge. They implement these movement options, but they barely do anything from, from my experience. I've seen some Twitter clips. Uh, I could probably show one. Uh, people have figured out how to break Wahoo World in half already. Uh, you're able to squid surge off of a wall in Wahoo World and jump backwards and just get into enemy spawn. Which is not something you could do in Splatoon 2, is get into enemy spawn uh, in, uh, in Wahoo World. I'm gonna use a Booyah Bomb uh, on this uh, slamming lid. Cool. I forgot it's wave three and I still have Booyah Bombs. Catalog level is gonna go up. Also, does that meter on the side mean the the, the king salmon it has like a fifty percent chance of showing up? It needs to be full for him to show up. Cause I I thought it the, the direct said it was random. The direct said it was random, but I guess there is a a guaranteed chance of one showing up if you fill the meter. My plan, as well, I did say I wanted to come back later tonight with more of this game. I'm not gonna do any more single player today. Uh, there are six major areas in the game, and we did two of them, so I think I'll do more of it tomorrow. Do like two more areas tomorrow, uh, and then wait a little bit because of, um... I. My work schedule is all fucked up again. Like, typically I've been working, like, uh, like, four days a week. Uh, for the last, like, month and a half. 
Uh, but before that, it was all fucked up, and now it's fucked up again. So my shift, my shifts this week are Sunday and Monday, and that's it. And then my shifts for the week after are Sunday and Monday, and that's it. So we'll have plenty of time to play Splatoon 3 for a, for a while. And obviously, we're gonna be playing this game for like the next five years. It feels weird to say out loud, but that's the truth. Um, so. I mean, I, I, I just want to, I want to finish the single player relatively quickly, just so I can stop avoiding spoilers. And I've done a good job of being spoiler free so far, so seeing all the stuff we saw today, I'm not going to spoil anything for anyone who didn't watch that portion of the stream, but I'm very glad I've stayed spoiler free so far. So, it'll be a few days before we fully finish it, and probably, like, like, I want to try and release the, uh, the videos on YouTube in, in episodes, so I don't know how many things I'll be putting in one episode, but probably, like, the tutorial in one episode. It's a big shot. Probably the tutorial in one episode, and, like, all of World 1 in one episode, and then all of World 2 in another. That'll probably be how it goes. A fished dip. Shoot one of those for that guy. So the big shot cannon just kind of stays here. I'm gonna climb inside it and launch myself. Actually, wait, can't you throw eggs in here and launch them at the basket? I wanna find that out. Uh, do I do it in the back? Uh... Oh, load A. Just, just press the A button on it. Trying to throw them at it. That's awesome! That's an amazing mechanic for Big Shot. I forgot I wanted to... Randomly popping into my mind now. I forgot I wanted to go, like, make my locker. I didn't unlock the ability to use the locker, but then I didn't make my locker. Let's just throw this over here. Oh, did I just throw the wave breaker inside the big shot and it just disappeared? That's awesome. Oh god, no, we're not dealing with you. No. My thing, it said it was half full. You know, I'm also really scared. Because... 
I want to look up a song from the single player. But I'm too scared to look it up. <laughs> Something that I wanted to bring up, if I, uh, go over here, grab the charger, never mind, uh, something that some people might not know is that weapons in Salmon Run get damage multipliers for Salmon Run specifically. So, like, earlier I was using the spot charger on the dummies and it was doing 300 damage. Uh, the only buff Range Blaster ever got in the entirety of Splatoon 2 for like four years straight was that it got a damage buff in Salmon Run. And according to data mines in this game, Range Blaster lost that damage buff in Salmon Run. Squiddy Buppy! A Jizzler. A Jizzler. We save my specials, but the, 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 the chonky boy doesn't spawn. Watch it happen. Because my mirror wasn't full. I don't know if everyone's mirror has to be full. I don't know if it's the party leader's mirror has to be full. Because I'm the party leader. Fog again, but it's mid. To anyone who sees a Goldie, bring it to the base. And by that, I mean myself and Triple U. Uh, relay system with this one. happy that Salmon Run got the expansion that it has in this game. Because this is just making Salmon Run even more fun. Wait, hold up. Nope, come here. No, you fool. We're relaying them. We have to bring the goalie to the base.
I mean, sometimes I'll play Salmon Run in Professional and forget to use my things. Kittens! Let's go. A mass of cocks has appeared on the shoreline. I don't know if I should use a tri strike. I feel like this, uh, it's got it covered with the cannons. Yeah, and here's the problem with cock waves. That so many people go and kill the bosses, but then we don't pick up the eggs. It happens a lot. We got quota, so we're fine now. Let's see if it actually happens. No. I'm good. I think you can probably set that in a private lobby. I mean, for content, maybe. I don't know, though. It's nice that you can do PBs of Salmon Run now. Uh, it's actually taking a while for lower ranks to get all my main rewards. I want—I usually play Samurai until I get all my main rewards, but... Uh... I just want to throw a bunch of eggs out of the dispenser for fun. I think after we uh, get the the funny wave to happen, we can do we can try a max by ourselves and then die. Is your meter still full? Maybe it's, even though you have a full meter, it's still random? I don't know. That, that's what I'm thinking.
Also, I'm very surprised with how awake I feel. I'm just extremely hungry right now, but I'm just surprised with how awake I feel. Because I mentioned at the beginning- oh, hello. I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, I was just tossing and turning in bed all night long because I could just not fall asleep because I was thinking about this game so much. Let's get the... Quickly typing or typing between waves. Ow. So I'm really enjoying this new stage for Salmon Run. I think there's at least one more new stage for Salmon Run. I don't know if any Salmon Run stages from Splatoon 2 actually make a return. I'm just glad there's more than one Salmon Run stage, because for the launch of Splatoon 2, there was one Salmon Run stage. This is true, however, you can still go between Inkopolis and the Splatland for the multiplayer. So, for the, you know, like, perf and rank. So... I don't know for certain. Also, I need to check Splatnet 3 more, because uh, I only really looked at the QR code thing and that was it. I think I heard something that, like, the world is going to run out of QR codes by 2030. There's only so many patterns. But because of the fact that there's for the Splatoon ones, there's literally an Inkling, an Inkling Squid logo in the, uh, in the middle of it. I think that just, you know, extends the possibilities. happen? Yep. The, the music was different during the end. King Salmonid Shazuna! Extra wave. An egg cannon and a charger. Ow. 
Oh, it also seems like you're only allowed one special because I didn't use any specials during that, during the main the main waves, but I only had one whale. I'd like to use the egg can, but no eggs. That does some good damage from afar. So, when I was looking at the direct, uh, it felt like these things have so much health that you're not going to be able to kill them. Maybe in high in higher ranks they do have more health, but we're, we're able to take this guy out pretty quickly. Fucking explodes. Never got out. Great work. Get back to the helicopter. I got 12. Clam. Hello, Lorenzo. Welcome to the stream. That's what I like to see. You got a future here, kid. I mean, they probably will. Clams are an alternate currency to use in Grizzco. Yeah, same as mine. So unless someone else in our lobby has a full meter, I don't think there's a chance of it happening. But we don't know if there's someone else in our lobby that has a full meter. So... This is a nice, like... Like a nice orange. It's like a light orange. Giant tornado! Oh! That's new! What do you mean, tornado? There's a whole pack of eggs that just, like, broke open. Uh, each little count is two? We have to throw them up, up here. So there are confirmed new wave types. I mean, this is just, there's nothing to fight, just get the eggs to the basket, but they all count as two. Oh, there's another one here. There's moth flies, same, uh, which isn't the same as glow flies. Interesting. I mean, I, oh, there's the tornado. I didn't even fucking see it. I was looking at everything else. Got me taken. Ow, the fucking small fry. I couldn't get out of there. Well, you can get a lot of fucking points here if you have good teamwork. <laughs> Just fell in the water. Well, I'm glad there's new wave types. We just don't know how many new wave types. If there's four new boss emanate, I'm hoping four new wave types, but I don't know. It'd be weird to only have, like, one or two brand new wave types for this game. I mean, technically, two is the boss- the- the extra wave boss, which is technically a new wave, and the tornado, so... You're gonna die. Right, well, I'll see the uh, the other one. 
Also tripled since you are here. After I am done streaming, I said I was gonna come back later. But you should uh, do the do a little bit of the single player if you feel like uh, watching my streams of the single player. You should also go like ahead of me so that way you can continue to watch. Unless you don't want to go ahead of me. I don't know. But just for reference, in like Splatoon 1 and 2, there were like five main areas to go to. In Splatoon 3, there are six main areas, and I did the first two. So there's two big shots. All the eggs got launched over here, but they didn't go in the basket. Them going into the basket is just a suggestion. It just gets them nice and over there. I guess just because it's so far away, it's not getting into the basket. Yeah, you're gonna know when an extra wave shows up because the ending music is a little bit more, like, minor key. One more. One more game. Yeah, I should wear the Splatoon 3 shades. I never really wore sunglasses, because out of my peripheral vision, I can still see outside of the sunglasses. So I just touch the glasses, I'm gonna keep touching them so it puts fingerprints on them, which makes it harder to see out of. I also never really wore too many glasses in my lifetime, ever. I technically could have prescription glasses because I don't have perfect vision out of one of my eyes. Yeah, out of my, I think out of my left eye, I think it's, uh, I'm nearsighted, I believe what the doctor told me, like, several years ago. Which I knew that, I just didn't have a name for it. Yeah, it goes around that central area of the basket.
But it's good because you can just send them over there and keep fighting bosses and then head back and just get a huge load. Unless someone's already over there, they can collect them for you. There's a lot more strategy with all this new Salmon Run stuff. They probably want you to go underneath the slamming lid and then like squid roll out of the way, but some shit can still in the game, so I just don't care. Now everything seems too bright that I had the sunglasses on for like two minutes. Frickin', uh... Oh, Mudmouths! Hello! That's definitely new. I don't know what's happening here. Oh! It is a mouth made of mud. You like throw bombs in it? Can you throw bombs in it? Okay. That's very weird. It's got a weird uvula. Golden mud mouth? So I don't know if that did anything at all. But it died. Golden trash! Oh my bomb is like very missing. Memory. I don't know. Maybe it's because you're bad. Stop being bad, I had to jump in the water to kill that guy. No, we don't get one. I'll try to remember to use it more. Too many five golden schmegans. Mm. 
I'm just so used to using sub strafing and salmon running plan blitz. Uh, I don't know if I'll convert myself. There we go. And let me get out of here so we can check out all the rewards. Uh, how do I quit? Uh, leave room. <laughs> uh, we've got quick respawn ticket to main, uh, main saver ability chunks. Uh, drink tickets for intensify action, quick super jump, ink recovery, and special power up. We got the funny hat. <laughs> and two quick respawn chunks. Sub power up, swim speed, special charge, and uh, ink resistance drink tickets. Oh, the funny things. These are, I forgot you could like customize the outfits you wear. So we have like the standard orange, but I can get other ones. There's decorations for other types of things. They're little. They're little. The green army figures, but they're the salmonids. Stickers for your locker and banners. That's cool. This is what you use the uh, the scales for. That's awesome. Uh, we could do a max hazard level thing, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, I would like to quickly return to the lobby to do the locker stuff. Also, wait, this thing too. What is this? Uh, step right up, try it. The shell out machine. The first play will cost you 5,000, and it's uh, it's a cool 30,000 for each play after that. Okay. So, first play of the day is 5k. So, I got... That's a dope banner, actually. <laughs> 